Well, it's the first time I worked on a O28. I didn't know they had points on them. I had a weak intermittent spark. So I'm going to clean those contacts up, see what happens. Y'all see that file? I have kept up with that file since I was a teenager. Unbelievable. See if I can tell who it was made by. Come on, focus. I can't see it in the camera. Maybe to show up on film. The spark is better. It's not been good enough. So is it the ignition coil? Or the condenser? Can't say it's not getting fuel. I'm gonna try another plug. I had tried that other plug once, that was before I filed the points. side too. I had them both set at one to begin with. Now they're one and a half and one and a quarter.
I gotta rest my brain. I went ahead and took your ball and chain off of it. Just to be safe. What do y'all think? Is it getting better or not? <laughs> that ain't brother. Ooh, that thing's hot. It's gonna get hot with those coals on it. Flywheel ain't forcing no air around it. So I'm gonna let it cool down. Well, it's a few days later and I got self-contained electronic ignition. It was like $16 on eBay. Um, you got a wire that goes from here up and over to the kill switch. And then you got a ground wire that goes from here back up through here and it grounds right here. Um, that was pretty straightforward. I set it with my normal four pieces, four pieces stick of printer paper. Uh, the carburetor did need a uh, kit, and I didn't have one, and I went to order a kit, and it was half the price of a new carburetor, spark plug, a uh, vent tube, uh, what else? Gas line, gas filter, so forth and so on. For twice the price of the kit. So, that's the new carburetor. I still got the other carburetor. And I'll put it in my drawer. If I ever need a carburetor that size, I'll have it. I'll just have to get a kit for it. Maybe I'll run across a deal on some kits. So the vent tube... Uh, didn't have your little filter up here. So that came with the carburetor. And some big dummy cut it off too short and had to use a piece of fuel line. But uh, unless there's another way, and the only way I can figure out to do this, is have it hanging over here like this. Put that screw in right there. After you put that screw in, then it'll rest right there. So let me get the covers and everything back on this thing and, and crank it up. I've had it running once, but let me get everything on it and I'll be back.
kill switch ain't work. What do I do? It worked the first time before I put the covers on. Let me investigate. Killer switch wasn't making good contact. Oh, I reckon it needs a ball and a short chain. 